Hello my friends and welcome back. It is episode 32. I'm back to before this battle because I want to attempt it again. <clears throat> it is... <clears throat> in a way, it's an interesting battle because of the overwhelming power that the, uh, the enemy has. And it got me thinking uh, last night. Uh, one comment that has kind of haunted me throughout this campaign is that someone said... <clears throat> the thing I hate about this mod, I'm quoting them now, the thing I hate about this mod is that it seems like grenades are the only effective weapon. <clears throat> and the reason why it feels like that is because grenades have... Uh, they're, they're not affected by the damage reduction. They seem to just work normally. And this just made me realize that um, if blast, if if that extends to all blast type weapons, <clears throat> that they don't have a damage reduction, then I should have, a long time ago, I should have gone down the minefragger route and just gotten a grenade launcher. But <clears throat> I had a thought in my head that maybe status effects would be the way forward, potentially. Uh, unfortunately, it was not the case, but... There we go. I don't think stunning enemy operatives is actually going to be particularly useful. Uh, let me just... some spare grenades lying around on characters that I'm not using right now. Let me just go ahead and load up on grenades. <clears throat> shot. But, um, <clears throat> what's... What bothers me about this is... Had I known that grenades were going to be the only effective weapon, I could have just run grenades the whole time. You know, these weapons, uh, these chaos weapons, are very expensive. Um, and for the price of one of them, I could have just bought another 20 grenades. Uh, you know, when you include the ammunition costs, honestly, they're barely cheaper or roughly the same price as... Uh, Uh, as just uh, just throwing grenades <clears throat> all day long. <clears throat> now, if blast is unaffected, it's not just grenades, but it's blast damage type is unaffected. Uh, great, they've all got return fire. If uh, if that is all unaffected by um. Uh, by the damage debuff, <clears throat> then the optimum way to play this, and really the only way to play this, is to start your game throwing throwing grenades all day long, and then to uh, switch into grenade launchers. I'm prepared. And then uh, into rocket launchers. <clears throat> now, the funny part about rocket launchers is I didn't like rocket launchers in the base game because um, 
when you used them against humans, you tended to destroy their weapons. Which uh, meant that there was less loot to get. Basically. I'm prepared. But in this, uh, that may be an extremely potent strategy because it doesn't matter how many hit points or how much damage reduction you're dealing with. I'm on the move. <clears throat> if you uh, if you destroy their weapon, what is he holding? Yeah, okay. Just suppressing. Yeah, except suppression doesn't exist in this game, so basically you just missed. Receiving. Ready, willing, and able. I'm on the move. Oh, come on. Ready to engage. Nice. I'm prepared. Moving in quick. Um, because one strategy I was thinking about was uh, just using a grenade to destroy this, so they can't climb up this way. That ladder is, you know, reasonably long, but obviously not long enough to stop a 25 speed guy from just flying up it. So. If I destroy this ladder and therefore the only way to get up is here, then uh, this might be a lot easier to deal with. If the only way up is here and I like position my guys like in the doorway looking across and then some guys over here like snipers or whatever. <clears throat> we can drag them in. I can make a difference. Hope that they're not all regen torso specials. I'm prepared. Still alive. Still alive. Do do do. Ready. Uh, just hop out for a second. Are you able to actually get up there? Yeah. Two hits straight through the high cover. Now that character is disabled. Or will be very shortly. I'm going to have to recover him to get that virus off as quickly as possible.
Yeah, this uh, the one disadvantage of rockets, which is why I hated them, was they destroyed the weapon, which destroyed the loot. But in this, that may be the supreme advantage for them, is to just blow up the weapon every time and thus disable the enemy. Suggest that, that guy is dead. Oh, we got one behind me as well. Oh, <clears throat> I didn't even get to recover them. They were already fully panicked. Skills. Got to save his chest. Hostile injured, but alive for now. <clears throat> this is already a terrible start. Receiving. So the issue with grenades is where they blow up. Like, which parts they impact. Check this out. You need three grenades to take out these, uh, super heavy characters. That's how it looks. It? I'm not even sure I can move this character without this overwatch going off. And even though this shouldn't be effective from this distance, I mean, he's managed to hit me. So... Hit on them next turn as well. Receiving. Still alive. Here. On my way. This guy moved out of cover. <clears throat> Not that his cover provided him with any cover. <laughs> the 
these guys are very aggressively all over me this turn, or this attempt. Ah. Problem is, is that once they get in here and they've killed all the civilians, they'll go up the stairs and start coming through the window. So you're on limited time to get out of here, to get out of this position in the corner. <clears throat> and I'm also on limited time to get a med kit on this poisoned guy. move all that distance with two broken legs. <gasps> He's still got 14 movement with two broken legs. I need a medic over here. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> He's still got I should have double checked him. He still had 14 movement with two broken legs. Oh my god. Because of the uh, the bonuses that have been added to the human enemies in this. He should have had three movement. So the bonus movement that he's gotten is ten. Which is just an enormous amount of bonus movement to uh, to hand out like it's candy. Let's have a look. Okay, we're surrounded. I'm prepared. Tango spotted. I'll be right there. Oh, that's interesting. And now, and now, the real game begins. Good idea. Let's see now. Thirteen movement, two broken legs, that's crazy. Do they have the same special bonus? Something we should check as well. Oh, that's just a normal ability that he's got. I don't know, I don't, uh, I think they have the same special ability, which is retaliate, but it's not listed. Ready, willing, and able. You don't have, uh... No. Here. You don't have quarterback. Moving. Can't get up there. Not close enough. <clears throat> Look at the wonky movement as well. Like, there's so many aspects of this game that have not been fixed. See, they took the full 50 damage there. 
<clears throat> the ones that have had their armor busted. Okay, he's got no weapon. And neither is he. But they've got regen torsos, so uh, all that damage will heal. The fact that they have no weapon might just cause them to leave the map. That's uh, that's fine. I'm here. Let's go. I don't think they're going to do much of anything. My turn. Yeah, parts are re-enabling. Oh, but it doesn't affect the head, so they're still going to bleed. But they're completely disabled, so they might just leave. Civilian up here. He can just sit there for now, though. Moving. This guy is probably going to run along the bottom. And that's when I'll get him. I can make a difference. I'm on the move. Watch this. What's going on here? Why can't I? There's no reason why I can't throw a grenade Check there. This out. Okay, that's it. Stairs are destroyed. Can't get up that way. You know, the funny part is, look at how far you can throw grenades as well. Let me see. Finger on the trigger. If I get his weapon... Should I rush up the stairs or should I just try and get his weapon? If I get his weapon, he's done. He has no other way of attacking. So he'll leave. Ready to engage. That's like a 40% chance to hit that though. Yes. Channel open. I suppose technically I got three chances. <laughs> I got it. All right, he's done.
What's wrong? You forgot to reload the goddamn gun? Did you make a movie mistake? You know, it'd be really nice if this game told you how many action points it took to climb that ladder. How much speed have you got? We can do the math. Although most of my characters have got something like 18 speed, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Something like 9 AP to get up that ladder, maybe 8. I won't be getting much loot out of this, but uh, I mean that's four enemies down. I think it's supposed to be like nine. See ya. You may be as tough as a tank, but your gun isn't. <laughs> it's a really stupid way to win. Honestly speaking, I mean... Contact. Oh wow, there's two right there. That's one ugly ambush. Come Can't. get some. Can you? I'm on the move. I'm able to cast the grenade down there. Check this out. I'm going in. I guess not. I'm on the move. Can't reach. Can't reach from there, but he could reach from here. Need a moment. I don't think there's going to be anyone coming up the ladder just right this minute. Heading out. Ready, willing, and able.
so depressing that grenade spam and destroying weapons is like our real, you know, end game against the enemy here, but we'll have little choice. <clears throat> We've managed to eliminate four enemies, I think, so far. Ah, uh, that's the guy in the window. <clears throat> What's our plan? Moving to position. Moving now. Hmm, yeah, that seemed to be. Yeah, that seemed to be still down there. I'm going to presume that with 25 movement, this guy can drop from here down to here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus eight more, 16, and get up here and still be dangerous. can't afford to lose the one civilian either. So what I, go, what I want to go for here is I think I want to get, like, up on here and here. And then if they come up here and along, that should be sufficient distance. And then worst case scenario, I can drop a grenade on them and send them hurtling through the floor. We got our one civilian, so I'm not going to go down there. I'm listening. What are the odds that there's like some enemy down there that's overwatched? I can jump back up again, so it's not a problem. Ah, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just get rid of it. So hang it, hang up, hang on and, and blade. This big dome thing is actually annoyingly positioned. On the move. 
Rolling out. What's our plan? Let's do this. So, still plenty of enemies out there, so we do need to be careful. Civilian. I wonder if I've got a clean shot on him. Pain chameleon. Receiving loud and clear. Why bother with guns when you can just throw grenades, right? I'm prepared. hitting his weapons at all. But I am stripping his armor. On it. Oh, and the other guy is bleeding. You can tell by the fountain of blood that's coming out of the ground there. His arms are broken. That does not help unless the torso is yes. also gone. Let's do this. Okay. Now he's dead. I'm listening. That's another two dead. Super Grenade Wars! Enemy spotted. Have you got a shot from there? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, how can you have? That doesn't feel right. <sighs> Damn it! How can he have two shots? He moved. Or was it another guy? Uh, that was not like the best positioning. Oh well. But I didn't think that they would have an angle. But then again on Legendary they always aim for the head. 
all the time. Shake it, baby. So if they get just slightly lucky and they bash the head, you're done. I don't <laughs> miss. You know what? I'll, I'll accept one loss. Attack successful. I don't think that was my best character anyway. That was the one that had that was a, an assault that had um, uh, nothing special going on. I'm here. All right, so that guy's got no weapon, so he will now leave. One guy's bleeding to death, and the other guy I just dropped like a rock. See, I wanted a character here to block the ladder, but the ladder's actually destroyed, so it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have had a character there. No point in wasting ammo on him, he's gonna leave. Ready to go to work. That one's bleeding to death. He's gone. <laughs> My head. I can't breathe. I'm on Overwatch. Taking point. I'll just go ahead and drop that there. There's a guy there. I'd be tempted to just drop down and go for him, but how many are left? One died there, one died there. That's two. And the four that were here. So that's six. I don't know, there could potentially still be three left. It's time for R and R. I'm just gonna chill out for a turn. you know, drop down and just blast him, but 
that's hugely risky. Do this. Seemingly not worked out where the ladder is. See if he comes uh comes down and around. I think that's the only guy left because I just I haven't seen any more. Ready, willing, and able. My turn. Let's go. I'm here. All right. Screw it. I'm going off the building. I can make a difference. I'm repositioned. Whoa. Targets in sight. How on earth did you guys not see him? Oh, come on. You're telling me that this chest high wall is the reason why you couldn't see. I'm prepared. Ready for action. Sprinting. Well, I was going to drop down and throw grenades through the window at this guy. Or, like, break the wall and then sh shoot his gun out of his hands, but. Arms online. I'm going. That turned out to be a thing I didn't need to do. I can't believe these guys cannot shoot him. This is a friggin' chest high wall. Like, it's not even a chest high wall. I'm Why prepared. is the high ground, like, so mechanically stupid in this game? In ev every other game has gotten this correct. Every other game. I can't think of any other game. Where it isn't advantageous to hold a high ground position, especially like this, especially as a sniper. And then here we go, in Phoenix Point, holding the high ground means you can't see over the wall for some reason. Ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
I drop another grenade on him? I mean, that's the only thing I can do is drop a grenade on him because, uh... I can't hit him any other way. Nor can I see him. Already on it. Or I just leave him to bleed to death. I just block the uh I just block the way up. Moving to position. Hey, he dropped down. Oh, maybe to apply a med kit. Well, that just means that the grenade is extra effective. Receiving loud and clear. for it. I can't believe I'm having to leave the high ground sniping position to kill the enemy. Because sniping from on top of the high ground Let's is like, you know... Is it? I, I probably expressed all these frustrations when I played this back in... Uh, back in the earlier days. My turn. And it just hasn't... What's our plan? ...gotten any better. All right, his weapon's gone. Sure thing. It's almost not even worth killing him now. He's got 20 bleed, and he's got 20 HP. bleed 20 HP he should be dead and that should be the end of the mission all right one guy got killed because I positioned him poorly on the roof but I think that was like my least useful character anyway The operation's been success. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll replace that layer. Did I already empty that one out, or did I empty that one? I emptied that one. Trade food for uh, for materials. 
I'm going to start to get super rich. Now it'll be time to build a second, uh, build a second aircraft. Just to uh, send my guys. Send my guys around. Research complete. Alright. Mine fraggers. Funny how that crew I think that unlocks the grenade launcher. The actual real grenade launcher. There it is. If the grenade launcher is also unaffected by the the debuff, then uh, it's gonna be the most powerful weapon by a long way. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.